Hey everyone, how about we take a look at another tool for identifying our Roman coins? Today, I'm going to introduce you to Ochre, Online Coins of the Roman Empire, a platform developed by the American Numismatic Society and the Institute for the Study of the Ancient World. And this time, for a little tutorial, we're going to be using this coin as a reference to simulate someone newly introduced to this coin. We're going to look at it as if we had no idea who the emperor nor the denomination was and try to extrapolate information using this platform. So before jumping over to Ochre, let's see what information we can obtain at first glance from our coin. On the obverse, we can see the bust of an emperor wearing a radiate crown, and if we carefully examine the legends, we can clearly recognize most of the letters, but not all. We have Imp. Caes, M, Aur, Anto, and the rest is not very clear, but that should be good enough. You've noticed I've already separated some of the letters which make up certain words on the legends, but if you are just a beginner, don't worry about knowing how to recognize and separate the legends into words. We're just gonna dump all of them at once into ochre. And as we head to the reverse, we can see a seated figure between two posts, standards, something we might not immediately recognize. We're fortunate here. Other than the very first letter, which wasn't very sharply struck, the rest of the legends is quite legible. Ides Exercitus. Okay, so let's head over to Ochre at numismatics.org slash ochre. Once we're in, we are greeted with this beautiful gold coin. This website has a series of really great resources you can explore to expand your knowledge on ancients. I recommend you spend some time in it. But for now, we're heading over to identify a coin. Once we're there, let's fill the obverse and reverse search bars using as much information as we can. Remember to use asterisks for any part of the legend we cannot read. How about we first try with only the obverse legends? Let's write everything we can without spaces and add an asterisk where the legends become illegible. Mm, well, unfortunately, it looks like we have been too broad on our search with only the obverse. We're given nearly 200 examples, and although the platform offer filters to help narrow down your search, we get three different emperors, different denominations, we're gonna have to be a little bit more specific with our search, and probably you will too with your own coins. So, we're back at the previous page, and now we are also filling the reverse field to get a narrower set of coins to look at. We will add an asterisk to the first letter we weren't really sure about, and ides exercitus, all together. And there we go. From 200 results, we've we're down to six. Our coin has the emperor wearing a crown, which, according to the results, shows us it is an Antoninianus instead of a denarius. So, it turns out this is a coin from Emperor Elagabalus. The full obverse legends are Imp, Caes, M, Aur, Antoninus, Aug, or Imperator Caesar, Marcus Aurelius, Antoninus, Augustus. On the reverse, the letter we were missing was an F, making our legends Fides Exercitus, and the results also explain the design on the reverse. It turns out this seated figure is Fides, the incarnation of fidelity, and the two posts are military standards, which the Romans would carry into battle. Basically, the coin is celebrating the fidelity of the Roman army. As an interesting note, if you scroll down, the Identify a Coin tool also has this great selection of portraits of every major figure of Imperial Rome who shows up on the coins. I strongly recommend exploring this section and spending some time getting acquainted to the styles of busts and the kinds of legends, and this will greatly help you narrow down to a certain set of emperors when you're identifying your coin. And as well as this will help you get a small sense of the style and the evolution that the coinage style evolves through the years. 
So just like with the previous tutorial, let's give a full attribution of our coin after searching it on Ochre. So our piece is an Antoninianus struck under Emperor Elagabalus, minted between 218 and 222 AD at the Mint of Rome. The obverse reads Imperator Caesar Marcus Aurelius Antoninus Augustus, and the reverse features the goddess Fides with the legends Fides Exercitus. Well, that wasn't very hard, was it? Now, get out there and start identifying your own coins. I know some of them might not be in pristine shape and easy to identify like this one, but you can get an idea that this is a very powerful tool. So if you like this little tutorial, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I hope you all stay safe, happy collecting, and see you soon.